relay. But in the meantime, here come the men for the SP14 100 breaststroke. The SP14 finalist, Scott Quinn from Great Britain, the fastest into the final from the heats. And there's Tom Hamer, mates from me had the other day in the 200. Kel Kuliabin from Russia in lane number two. Mark Avers from the Netherlands. He goes in lane number three. That is Venom of Norway. There's Scott Quinn with these lucky boxer shorts on there. Scott Quinn in lane number four. Adam Venom in lane five. In fact, Atom Perlenko in lane five. Adam Venom in lane number six. John Margir Sferrison in lane number seven. And in lane eight, it's Emmerich Parmentia. Scott Quinn standing at the back there, causing a bit of confusion with the cameras across the lane. World record held by Aaron Moores. That was set just last week in the British International Meet. A great start there from Scott Quinn. He's actually down though. He got a good start off the block, but he's considerably shorter than the other athletes, and so he loses out a lot of ground underwater. But we can see he's already starting to come back onto the shoulders now. And they're all in a good line here as we come into the last 15 of the first 50 meters, Paul. Well, Cooley have been going well in lane number two in that white cap, pressing for the lead, but Scott Quinn has come through pretty strongly in lane four, and he will lead just at the halfway point, Pavlenko in second, Venom going well in lane number six, in third. Yeah, and this is where we really see the charge come, and it, for breaststroke, it's so important not to get so involved in the race that you actually tighten up and shorten your strokes. It's all about keeping it long. And someone like Scott, Scott Quinn does have a fast stroke rate, and he's starting to pick it up, and he's starting to move away from Pavlenko. Well, Pavlenko pushing, but Scott Quinn has hit the front. Scott Quinn into the last six metres now. Surely it's going to be goal for Quinn. Scott Quinn has won the European title in a time of 107.29. It's Pavlenko in second position and it is Venom in third position. But Scott Quinn showed his strength. Oh goodness, he's given absolutely everything there. But Scott Quinn in a time of 107.29, he's the European champion. Pavlenko started to come back on him, but then Scott Quinn almost found another gear and then went into the finish, and there he is <laughs> dancing in victory. Now. As I said, he got away so well, Scott Quinn, but he does lose a lot of ground underwater because of his height disadvantage. But once he was up and into his stroke, he's really working out, got a great technique, and he came through to take the victory. Well, there is Pavlenko in lane number five. Scott Quinn at this point was level with Pavlenko, but at the end of the race, showing his strength there, and Scott Quinn stretching for the wall, a little bit of a stretch there, then finish at square. He looks round, he's not sure, he's sure now. Scott Quinn is a European champion. Fantastic stuff from Scott Quinn. Silver medalist last year in the World Championships. Gold medalist in the European Championships. Scott Quinn takes it, 107.29. Pavlenko, the silver medalist, Venom, the bronze. Scott Quinn got to be happy with that. That race just showed.